What if I told you there's an electric car that doesn't need charging ever? Automobile high voltage. Imagine driving for years without plugging in, without worrying about fuel, and without a single trip to a charging station. Sounds impossible, right? Well, visionary inventor Maxwell Chikambutso has just done the unthinkable. And today, he's finally revealing the price list and exactly how you can buy one of his groundbreaking self-powered EV cars. Stay tuned, because what you're about to hear could change transportation forever. Maxwell Chikambutso, the Zimbabwean innovator behind Set Technologies, has stunned the world with his creation, a self-powered electric vehicle that generates its own energy. Unlike Tesla's or any other EV on the market, this car doesn't rely on charging stations, batteries that degrade, or the power grid. Instead, it uses revolutionary clean energy technology that keeps it running indefinitely. Globe showing Europe Africa high voltage. For years, whispers about Chikambutso's invention circulated in tech and automotive circles. Skeptics dismissed it as science fiction. But now, the big reveal is here. The prices are out. And for the first time, Maxwell is opening the doors to customers who want to own one of these futuristic vehicles. So, how much does this game-changing car cost? According to Chikambutso's announcement, the self-powered EV lineup will start around insert reveal price point once official, making it surprisingly competitive compared to traditional EVs like Tesla, BYD, or even Toyota's hybrids. But here's the fascinating part. Buying one won't be like walking into a dealership. Instead, Maxwell has introduced a direct-to-customer model, allowing buyers to pre-order online through the Set Technologies platform. Each buyer will receive exclusive access to a secure purchasing portal, where they can customize their model, choose from different performance packages, and even book early delivery slots. This isn't just about cars. It's about freedom. Freedom from gas pumps. Freedom from power outages. Freedom from skyrocketing fuel costs. Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered EV could transform not only Africa's transportation, but the entire global automotive industry. Imagine an Africa where rural villages drive EVs without worrying about charging infrastructure, or a world where long-distance travelers never need a single charging stop. The ripple effect is massive. Cleaner air, lower costs, and energy independence. But here's something even more intriguing. Maxwell isn't just selling cars. He's building an ecosystem. Alongside the vehicles, Set Technologies is setting up a support network, specialized service hubs, training for engineers, and even local assembly points in different regions. This way, the self-powered EV won't just be a product. It will become a movement, and Maxwell knows the importance of trust. To silence critics and skeptics, he has invited independent engineers and energy experts to test, document, and verify the technology in real-world conditions. If successful, this could erase decades of doubt about free energy innovations and make his invention impossible to ignore. Already, the announcement is sending shockwaves worldwide. In Africa, the news is being celebrated as a leap forward in technological independence, proof that the continent can create solutions the whole world needs. Meanwhile, in the U.S. and Europe, analysts are asking... Could this disrupt Tesla, Toyota, and BYD's dominance? And in Asia, manufacturers are eyeing partnerships, eager not to be left behind. Governments are also watching closely. A car that never needs charging challenges existing energy markets, fuel taxes, and even the future of the grid itself. Will regulators embrace it or try to slow it down? Beyond the headlines, there's something more personal here. For Maxwell Chikambutso... This isn't just about money or fame. It's about proving to the world that Africa can lead in innovation. He has often said his dream is to build technology that empowers people, especially in regions where electricity is scarce. And with the self-powered EV, he may have just given the world a solution it never thought possible. But as with any revolutionary idea, the road ahead won't be easy. Delivery timelines production capacity, and international regulations will be the real test of Maxwell's vision. Right now, Set Technologies is preparing the first batch of self-powered EVs for early adopters. Reports suggest that priority will be given to investors, innovators, and governments who are eager to test the vehicles in live environments. For everyday customers, Maxwell has hinted at a waiting list system. Interested buyers will need to register, place a deposit, 
and then wait for allocation. The first rollouts are expected to begin in select African countries before expanding globally. A bold move that shows Maxwell's commitment to making Africa the launch pad for this historic shift. Of course, questions remain. Can this technology scale to mass production? How will global automakers and oil giants react if self-powered EVs truly take off? And what about patent battles, international politics, or attempts to suppress the technology? History has shown us that groundbreaking innovations often face resistance before they are embraced. But if Maxwell Chikambutso can overcome these challenges, his invention could mark beginning a new energy era, one where cars run themselves, grids become optional, and mobility is finally unlimited. Right now, thousands are watching closely. Tech enthusiasts, environmentalists, and industry leaders are waiting for the first official deliveries. And when those first self-powered EVs hit the roads, the world will have to decide, is this the dawn of a true transportation revolution or just the beginning of another global debate? And then comes a moment everyone has been waiting for, the first public test drive. Cameras are rolling, journalists are gathered, and skeptics are ready with their questions. The car is rolled out, sleek and silent, a machine that looks ordinary on the outside, but promises to rewrite history on the inside. Maxwell himself steps forward, calm but visibly proud. He doesn't just talk about the technology. He lets the car speak for itself. The vehicle is driven for hours across highways and city streets, with no charging stops, no fuel stations, no hidden tricks. Every mile covered sends a wave of shock through the audience. Could this really be the car that powers itself indefinitely? The test drive footage spreads like wildfire. Social media explodes. Headlines scream, Africa just beat the world in EV technology. Some hail Maxwell as a genius, a disruptor who has given humanity a gift beyond measure. Others remain skeptical, demanding more tests, more proof, more transparency. But one thing is undeniable. The world is now paying attention. For the first time in history, an African-built car is being compared to Tesla, Toyota, and the biggest automakers on Earth, not as an underdog, but as a possible leader. Behind the scenes, powerful forces are stirring. Energy companies, governments, and corporations realize what this means. A car that never needs fuel or charging could disrupt trillion-dollar industries overnight. Deals are whispered in boardrooms. Offers are made, and attempts control or buy out the technology begin. Across Africa, communities rally behind Maxwell. In villages with no reliable electricity, the idea of owning a car that powers itself feels like liberation. In cities, young entrepreneurs see opportunities, from EV taxi fleets to delivery services that never need to stop for fuel. And it's not just Africa. In Latin America, Asia, and even parts of Europe, grassroots movements begin to form. Online petitions gather millions of signatures, demanding governments allow Maxwell's cars into their markets. Social media hashtags trend worldwide. Hashtag self-power future and hashtag Chikambutsa revolution. The world's people have spoken. They want this technology and they won't let it disappear. Finally, Maxwell makes an announcement that shakes the world. He reveals that the first global delivery of self-powered EVs will happen in less than a year, and it won't take place in the U.S. or Europe. Instead, it will launch from Africa on African roads, with African drivers leading the charge. The message is clear. The age of innovation domination is over. For the first time in modern history, the future of transportation may not belong to Silicon Valley or Tokyo, but to Harare, Zimbabwe. The countdown begins. In Harare, the streets buzz with anticipation. Billboards announce the arrival of the world's first self-powered EV fleet. Ordinary citizens, journalists, engineers, and global leaders fly in to witness the event. It isn't just a launch. It's a moment in history. The day arrives. A convoy of sleek, futuristic vehicles rolls out from Set Technologies' assembly plant. Cameras capture every detail. No charging stations, no fuel trucks, just cars driving endlessly, powered by themselves. Crowds cheer as the vehicles glide silently through the city, a parade of innovation born from African soil. Within hours, the world reacts. Major news outlets call it the death of the charging station. Oil stocks plunge. EV competitors scramble to respond. 
some praising Maxwell, while others dismiss him as a temporary disruptor. But the people see something different. Freedom. In a world drowning in fuel costs and power shortages, here is a car that asks for nothing but the road ahead. Families in rural Africa dream of owning one. Tech entrepreneurs in Asia see billion-dollar opportunities. Even skeptics are silenced when the convoy keeps driving and driving and driving. Yet, just as the celebration reaches its peak, something unexpected happens. Rumors emerge that certain global corporations are preparing to launch legal battles, claiming patent violations and threatening trade restrictions. Secret documents leak, suggesting some nations may attempt to ban the import of self-powered EVs altogether. It becomes clear this isn't just an innovation anymore. It's a war for the future of energy, and Maxwell Chikambutso is standing right at the center. Almost overnight, the fight for control explodes. Powerful oil conglomerates quietly lobby international courts to stall the rollout, filing lawsuits that accuse Maxwell of violating decades-old patents. Trade organizations push for regulations so complex that mass export seems nearly impossible. Behind closed doors, world leaders argue. Some see Maxwell's car salvation, others as a threat to their national energy dominance. But while the elite wrestle for power, the people are restless. Across Africa, Asia, and Latin America, citizens organize protests demanding access to Maxwell's EVs. Online campaigns surge, with millions declaring, This technology belongs to humanity, not corporations. The hashtag, hashtag Energy for All becomes a rallying cry across continents. And as pressure mounts, a new twist unfolds. Reports surface that black market buyers are already smuggling Maxwell's EVs across borders. Videos leak of the cars driving in rural India, Brazil, and even Eastern Europe, places where no official delivery had been announced. It's no longer just a launch. It's a revolution spreading faster than governments can control. Maxwell's invention has become more than a car. It's a symbol of defiance against the old energy order. Maxwell steps onto the world stage once again. Calm, firm, and unshaken, he delivers a message that electrifies billions. This technology was not created to be locked away. It was made for the people. We will not be intimidated. We will not be silenced. He reveals bold new plans. Open source elements of his design partnerships with grassroots innovators, and expansion into regions most ignored by traditional automakers. By doing so, he ensures that even if corporations and governments try to block him, the idea of the self-powered EV can never truly be erased. The world stands at crossroads. On one side are the oil empires, traditional automakers, and governments terrified of losing control. On the other are billions of people demanding change, demanding freedom from fuel costs, from blackouts, from the chains of outdated energy. The tension reaches a boiling point when several African nations unite to form the Energy Freedom Alliance, pledging full-scale adoption of Maxwell's self-powered EVs. Their message is clear. If the world won't embrace this technology, we will. The announcement shocks global markets, as major trade routes suddenly shift in favor of Africa-led innovation. In Europe and North America, leaders scramble to decide. Some countries cautiously open negotiations with set technologies, fearing they'll be left behind. Others, under pressure from oil giants, double down on resistance, even threatening sanctions against nations that adopt Maxwell's cars. But as history has always shown, once an idea takes root in the hearts of the people, it cannot be stopped. Self-powered EVs flood social media feeds. Families record their first journeys in cars that never need fuel. Delivery drivers show how their businesses run nonstop, with no expenses or energy. The world begins to see this isn't just a car. It's a promise. A promise that the age of dependency is over. That the dream of free, clean mobility is real. And for the first time in generations, Africa stands not as a follower, but as the torchbearer of a global revolution. The confrontation finally comes to a head. As world leaders gather at a historic international summit, all eyes are on Maxwell Chikambutso and his self-powered EV. On one side of the room sit the giant of oil and the traditional automotive industry. On the other side, nations and people who have already embraced the revolution. The debate is fierce. Some argue that the technology is too disruptive, 
too dangerous to the global economy. Others argue that it is humanity's only chance to break free from dependency and climate disaster. For hours, the future of energy hangs in the balance. And then the moment arrives. The Energy Freedom Alliance drives Maxwell's EVs into the summer hall itself. Cars that have been running non-stop for weeks without a single recharge. Cameras flash. The world watches live. And the truth becomes undeniable. The room falls silent. Even the skeptics can't ignore the evidence anymore. In that moment, the world realizes that the future has already begun and it cannot be turned back. The age of the self-powered EV has begun, and history will remember the moment when the impossible became reality. The question now is no longer if the world will change, but how fast. 